An important aspect of applying for any academic job is to be able to map your skills onto what employers are looking for. Examine the job advert in great detail, particularly the job description and the person specification. Remember that you cannot just claim that you fulfill each of the criteria, you have to provide concrete evidence. The selection panel judging the applications will probably have a tick box system in place to rank each applicant. If you can show that you have already achieved every one of the criteria, you have a good chance of being shortlisted. First, let's look at the job description. For example, if a requirement of the job is that you facilitate student learning through lectures, workshops and tutorials, then you must demonstrate how you've done this before. Give examples of where you've been innovative. If you are required to collaborate with colleagues on course development, again, give a concrete example. It's not enough to say that you're willing to do this, you must show that you have prior experience. The most useful document in the application pack will be the person specification. This document outlines clearly what the selection panel are looking for. Again, you'll be ranked via a tick box system, so it's vital to show that you fulfill all the criteria. The criteria will be divided into essential and desirable skills and knowledge. The desirable criteria will be used to differentiate between applicants in the event that many candidates fulfill all the essential criteria. So you must clearly illustrate the cases in which you match the desirable criteria too. Following this technique of skills mapping for every job you apply for, time consuming I know, will ensure that you have the best chance of being shortlisted for an interview. For more careers advice, please visit our website.